Hey everyone, it's ADS Diecast here. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be looking at five Shelby collectible vehicles here. Um, it should be pretty interesting. Um, I don't have any Shelby collectibles in the collection except for the one you see in front here that is actually a green light. Um, I'm not... I don't really know a whole lot about this or anything like that. I don't know if Shelby makes these toolings and then they loan them out to, I guess, Greenlight or whatever. And this is the only one that I know of. Or Greenlight makes them and then they loan them out to Shelby, whatever. Whoever makes these, I'm not sure how it all works or whatever it is. So I'm bringing out the Greenlight because I want to compare them or compare the Greenlight to these ones here and kind of see... Because I don't know what the writing is going to say on the bottom, if it's going to say green light. Because I, I, I don't know. I've never seen them in person. This is the first time I've seen them. And I got them from a local guy here in town for a pretty sweet deal. Um, so here's the green light one. This is from the Gas Monkey um, Garage Hobby Exclusive. I don't know how many releases they've made of this tooling. Um, I think a couple. I could be wrong. Maybe just this one. So it's interesting because it has opening doors, which no other green lights have. But it is a fantastic looking tooling. And then it says, what does it even say on the bottom of this? It says green light. So I'm curious to know if these will say green lights. So let's start opening these up. Um, I'll just start with the two that I have down at the bottom here, and we'll go with the white one first. I believe these are all copyright dated 2006. Here, I'll show you. Um, they're basically just red and blue card art. So there's the card art. Metal of metal, apparently, and all that good stuff. And here's the back, if you're interested. So apparently they made a lot of them. 2006, I don't know a whole lot about these. Shelby Collectibles. So we'll see what we're getting into here. The first one we'll be opening is a Shelby Special Edition 427 GT500. So this one's pretty cool. Get the chrome wheels, opening doors. So let me open this one up here and we'll see what we're getting into. Um, I don't know if it's okay. I don't know how these are attached. It's stuck to this. I guess it's. I don't know if it's taped or something. Let me. I should have been a little more prepared for this, but um, I wanted to open it firsthand and kind of see. Yeah, we do have these little ties here. I don't know if I have any scissors. One hand. I don't. I don't think so. No, um, my blade. Just be patient with me here for a moment. Should be able to get these off just one twist time. Don't worry about saving the packaging or anything. There's a whole lot of it. A whole lot of it. Um, I don't want to break it. I don't know how valuable these cards are. I don't know anything about them. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so is this? Yeah, it is screwed together. Um, so is this one. So this is the way it came. Okay, the hood shuts all right. You shut okay. All right, let me put it on the camera properly. I mean. So it's not my favorite, does it have a separate piece bumper? It's hard to tell with that line, I think it does. So, open up the hood here, fair amount of detail. It shuts all right. They do kind of roll, I don't know if it's got, it's kind of like, I don't even know. It doesn't really want to roll, it's like rubbing or something. You do have lens detail in the back. They look all right. It's the Shelby on there. Exhaust tips. The windows look good. You got a little bit of scratch there. Not too big of a deal. Um, chrome wheels look all right. 
lens detail on the front. I mean, this one's all right. So here's the base. GT500 made in China. Shelby collectibles. Because here's where it says it on the green light one. Interesting. I don't know. See, I don't know who makes these. Shelby or Green Knight? It's kind of interesting. This is 427 there. Let's see if we can see the interior at all. Let me open these doors. I mainly got these because they were they might be made by Green Light, and Green Light does have the Shelby collectible. Um vehicle casting whatever I was like well why not the interior is all right sounds okay these were really cheap so I'm not too worried about it if they're kind of janky we have a 2007 Shelby GT H convertible this one's pretty cool black with the uh, like gold all the art card arts basically the same either red or blue Let's try to do this one quickly Okay, so you might as well take a look at that again. Fight to get these open. Yeah, like I said, these are the first Shelby collectibles I've had in the collection, and uh, I don't see them that much coming up for sale. I mean, really, I don't pay attention that much, really. So maybe if like, more of them come up for sale, I might buy more. They seem to be all right construction. They are metal on metal. They do have a metal base. All right, so here's this black one, and they're screwed together like uh, like um, M2, uh, so you can easily take them apart and put them back together if need be. Um, cause this door doesn't sit 100%, but that's all right. So these wheels are fantastic. Hertz on the side there, that's pretty cool. Do get the lens detail there with the separate piece grill again, metal on metal. Lens detail in the back. You can really see that interior. That's pretty good. Hard to argue for the scale. Gotta be careful with that. I'm sure that'll break off. Even all that's painted around there. It opens on this one as well. That's pretty cool. It's got the brace in there and everything. Yeah, these are really cool. And then the doors open. Let me open those. There's that. Now, what does it say on the bottom? Same thing. GTH convertible. Okay. Um, yeah, the paint quality is actually excellent so far. Um, yeah, very happy with that. This one's a much better roller. No weird stance issues. I mean, yeah, that's an excellent model. No, uh, no complaints there. We'll open this 68 Shelby EXP 500 CSS or whatever it is. I don't know. Green Mustang. Yeah, so like I said, I, I don't know if I said at the beginning of the video, I can't remember. Um, I've just been extraordinarily busy with work and everything like that. And I'm really trying to stay on top of um, continuing a schedule for making videos. Um, fighting to get this one open as well. Holy, setting stuff flying. There's a lot of plastic on these, it's crazy. Okay. Off to the side. Here's this one. It's got a little bit of a rake to it. Oh wow, that paint 
That paint is awesome. It didn't look this good in the package, that's for sure. So this is the stuff I like from them. It's the older stuff. I'd be curious to know what their Cobras look like. Even the uh, um, wipers are painted, so here. Got all the detailing on the side. The wheels are okay. Could be better, but not bad. See, that's that same mirror casting thing like these have. That's interesting. Um, lens detail. Separate piece bumper. I mean, they, they go all out on these. They're really nice. 68. Ah, I love that paint. Excellent roller, of course. You seem to all be. Let's see if I can get the hood open. It's tight, but I gotta get it open. Kind of see inside there, right? And there's that. I believe it's the same detail as this green light. Sure is. So there's that. Man, I I, I really like these. I'm definitely going to have to grab more. And I, like I said, I, I like that they're um, screwed together. So if there was any little flaws or whatever, that uh, fit me into the hood or whatever, you could easily adjust it. Yeah, so that's not bad. And then we have a 68 Shelby GT500. I'll let you look at this one here. So they do have some pretty interesting castings. Let me see. While well, I'm like pulling this open, so we got more Shelby GT500, 350H, blah blah blah. So we got Shelby Cobra, um, Shelby Cobra Super Snake. So there's some, there's some interesting ones in here for sure. Like I said, I haven't paid attention too much to them, so when shows eventually do open up. Who knows when that'll be? I uh, will keep my eye out for sure. I don't think they're very expensive at all. After uh, on eBay or anything, maybe I'm wrong, but so much plastic. Come. Was pretty neat. So I'm not going to open the hood on the next one here just because it'll be the same detail. And I believe, unless I can get it open, yeah, same detail, so I'm not worried about it. All right. Took me a little while. Glass looks good. You get the blue. Let's see there. Got the 85th. The GT500. All the same details here. Does it have a bit of a base lean? No. No suspension or anything. Yeah, it's just a fantastic looking model. Separate little pieces here, I think. Maybe not. No, those are molded in. Yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with these. I was not sure what to expect. And the last one we'll be looking at is a red 66 GT350. Rip this open quick. So I'm gonna look into um, Greenlight here and uh, see if they've released any more of this tooling from Greenlight. Uh, I guess I'm not an expert. Unfortunately, I can't remember everything. Um, but we'll see. I think there is other releases. Probably hobby releases. Wouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah, okay. And here we have red GT350. Here's the engine. 
That looks excellent. Excellent roller. Pretty nice looking paint. The paint is excellent on these. Same details before. Nothing fancy on the base. Yeah, these are just excellent, excellent, excellent models. Yeah. Wow. I'll have to look into how many they've actually made. But, um, yeah, they got a good weight to them, too. You can tread on the tires. I wonder if they all, if there's any special tires on any of these. Nothing. Um, but, yeah, that will be it. Let me zoom out here. Get them all lined up. So that is it. Yep, kind of an interesting video, something new to add to the collection. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching.